Okay, so this is going to be Sims Asylum. So it's a little bit different from what I've been doing. My intention is basically to try and see how many people in the Sims city area I can kidnap. So first of all, I am creating this crazy Sim. He is evil and insane and his name is Sam Pepper. So this is Sam Pepper and he's going to be the creepy guy that kidnaps everyone. Get the relevance there? Mm-hmm. Up to date. So uh going to make him a partner she's going to be just creepy and she's going to want lots of kids so hopefully you know she'll get all freaky with all the sims that are locked in our house which is going to be an, a prison really i made I'm going to make a prison it's going to be full of cells it's not going to be nice conditions because we've got the crazy man in the house Okay, so first of all, I've just created the asylum. So you can see it's cells with a bed, uh, wash facilities and a toilet. I'm going to have to try and figure, I'm going to have to work it out as I go along how to trap people inside the house because I'm going to have to constantly remove the front door. I'm going to get Shirley to do all the talking just because Sam Pepper is insane. So he might, you know, scare people away from the house in the first place. I'd rather him be like a creepy little person who sits in the corner, shaking backwards and forwards once they're inside the house. So all levels have cells on. These ones that have double beds, the uh, purpose of these ones are family rooms. So if they've been good and had lots of kids for Shirley, they can sleep in the family rooms. They've got nice showers and double beds. It's just a little bit nicer in there. And even have rugs, I know. I've also got a gym in there with a uh, community area for visits. And there's a children's room as well. Okay, so I've sent Shirley outside to meet and greet with the fellow citizens. So uh, she can kidnap them all. So what she'll do is call them up and invite them around to the house and then remove the front door, hopefully. It all goes to plan. Okay, so she's invited some of her friends over. We've got Zachary and we've got her rather sassy friend. But now, remove the door! Remove the door! That should stop them getting out until they decide they want to go home and then realise, oh, what? There's no door there! I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Wait. What? The door's gone. But. Eh? Uh, the. The. No. What? There's, there's, there's no door. And now they're fighting. Oh. Well, you're just going to have to stay. Sorry. But, but the door's gone. I just, I don't understand. What? A, the door. The, there was a... No, that's a brick wall. I, I, um, no, never mind. Maybe I was imagining things. And yet again, she bloody goes to stare See at the, the door wall. Friend? So let's, let's annoy her, shall we? So, uh... Hmm, let's suppose about our family that we don't have. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a standoff. That's it, yeah, Sam Pepper's going to throw his drink on Zachary and provoke him. Beautiful. Such a good family household. Oh, he didn't! Oh. <laughs> right, so I wanted to go visiting again, find some people to talk to, so I'm just going to throw a quick door on there and go wild. And build mode and remove door. It's going to take more effort than I thought. Mwahaha. The next group of victims. I mean housemates. Kind of like the Big Brother house. I mean you can't leave. 
Even if you hate everybody. I'm just trying to be nice to start with and then I'll be horrible once they're in the house. Simple. So ask them to hang out. You know, false sense of security. Yeah. I need her to go somewhere else. Uh, she's too close to that door, still staring at the door, wondering how to get out. Hmm. With him, I'll trap him in there. Let's trap him inside his cell. For now, just while I work out what to do. Oh, uh, I've noticed a slight problem. I've got to put the showers in the bottom ground. So I'll put the showers in just so they can sort the hygiene out. You know, we're not a horrible asylum. We still give the uh, inmates a little bit of uh, human decency. Alright, let's get her back inside the house. And remove the door. She, for start, can get out the bed. She's an inmate. That is my master bedroom. Stupid woman, go away from the non-existent door. She's so sassy, look at her stomping around. Right, while she's not there, we'll get the door on. Because what I need to do now is get some people up. Oh, the maid! Hi, maid! Right. Sassy's stomping towards it again, so we'll uh, sell the door. And we now have the maid trapped in the house as well. Look at Sassy, she's like, I totally just saw a door there, bitch. Where's the door gone? Mm hmm. And now trapped a maid in the cell as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, let's get the door back on. We need to go and get some more prisoners. So I'll invite some people over. Hello, Nina. Oh, someone's just let themselves in the house. Perfect. Hello, new prisoner. Hi! Fancy just inviting yourself into a, an asylum? Admitting yourself? Well, that says it all about you, doesn't it? Then we've got Nina as well. Come on then, Nina. We'll go and answer the door to her. Nina, come on in. Come on in, Nina. Join the family. No, Sassy's doing a runner! Oh, Sassy! Don't you dare, other woman who invited herself in. We've just lost a prisoner. Stupid Sassy. Oh, what to do now? All I have to do is move the door from the cell, put the door on the outside of the house, 
and then that way people inside the house can't get out only people can go in sounds like a good plan silly sassy people can't get out either come on in nina come and come and talk to me over here you know just, just over here yeah let's go here together that's it let's walk and talk nina let's walk and talk so uh, come into my beautiful house and uh sorry you're trapped here forever you're going to die here What I can then do is put a door onto the inside wall so they're not all trapped into one cell and just switch each time that I want to invite someone in. So I'm going to put a door on the outside again because it doesn't matter that he's in the cell because he lives here anyway so he's always going to go back into the house and uh, we'll get some friends friends I use as a loose term into the house looks like Sam pulled Peppers uh, pulled a young girl there and he's just asked her to hang out oh dear oh and now there's an old man involved and she's agreed to hang out for a bit so uh, ah, they're going to discuss the interests and uh, bring her back home, lock her up and do whatever he does, you know. <laughs> Hi guys, come into my beautiful abode, just through this door here, yep, yep. No, it doesn't look like a cell, what do you mean? Ah, I looked at the door. The door's gone, ha <laughs> ha. By the way, did my uh, did my missus not tell you that once you enter this house, you never leave? Okay, so that was Sims Asylum. So we've got a few inmates now. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. I'm not sure whether to actually continue this or not. Thumbs up if you did enjoy. Write anything down in the comments below. I try and respond to everybody. And until next time, stick around. I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.